Focused cardiac ultrasound is performed at the bedside and provides a limited number of standard echocardiographic views to evaluate heart structures, cardiac contractility, and assesses intravascular volume. Focus is performed in patients with sepsis and septic shock and can predict volume responsiveness, the hemodynamic response to volume expansion with the intravenous fluid bolus. To start, the patient is placed in a relatively flat position in a hospital bed. The clinician starts by getting an apical four-chamber of the heart, feeling for the PMI, or point of maximal impulse. After rotating the probe, they view the aortic valve and left ventricular outflow tract. Here, the clinician performs the pulse wave Doppler, aligning the Doppler angle with the angle of blood flow, generating the pulse wave Doppler signal. The y-axis is the velocity of blood flow, and the x-axis is time. The next step is to trace the outline of the left ventricular outflow tract to calculate the LVOT VTI, the left ventricular outflow tract velocity time integral. Here it is calculated to be 24.1. Next, the bed is repositioned with the patient's legs up approximately 30 degrees and the process is repeated. If the stroke volume increases by 10 to 15% in this position, then the patient is deemed fluid responsive and a fluid bolus should be considered. Because the repeat LVOT VTI measured 25.6, this patient did not meet the threshold of volume responsiveness, so a fluid bolus would not be recommended.